Апреля делается. В этом году чудесно, в этом интересно. Такого года не было, чтобы в апреле месяце такие где-то 13-15 марта я смотрел шел вот здесь, то было уже по три, по три рамки печатного печатного. Это не бывало. Hello friends and welcome back to our homestead. Today, Papa and I are treating our bees for Varroa mites and we're choosing to use Formic Pro to treat our bees. Now, Formic Pro is safe for bees. It is a natural occurring acid and it will not affect, oh, what is that? <laughs> and it will not affect honey but we already harvested honey so but even if we have to harvest honey again later on it's not going to affect the honey at all so we feel safe using this product a couple of precautions we do have to think about is we need to wear gloves which i am wearing gloves and uh good airflow um so we're not inhaling it because it can cause irritation to your breathing and to your eyes so we try to be careful so papa is taking off uh, the top two supers and we're going to be placing those formic pro patties between these two on top of this bottom one because it's not the treatment is not done by the transmission by bees mm -hmm. but rather by the um the flow of the acid itself so uh, there are definitely some precautions that we have to follow. Uh, number one is it's important that we use not, uh, we don't use it in very hot or cold temperatures. The ideal temperatures are 50 to 85, especially the first three days. So we check the forecast and for the next three days, we're not expecting to be above 85 here in New England and we're happy with that. So we're going to be using this. Okay, I have to go get my package ready because I'm talking to you guys. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. And here the uh, two stinky patties. Keep the paper on and put right on top, about two inches away from the edge and about four inches in between. And just like this, that's it. So we're choosing to use two Formic Pro pads or patties, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they're going to stay on for at least 14 days. And then most likely we will remove them. So yes, it's supposed to be used in a cooler temperatures, but not too, too cold because they're just not going to be effective. So we're using them um, here midsummer, but the temperatures are not very hot. 
О, папа, подожди, стак, подожди. My papa is 87, but he's a one strong man, one strong guy. So he loves his bees, and these are his his bees we're treating uh, along with mine. And we're super, I'm super excited to learn everything from Papa and all of his methods. So what we need to do as well, see how he's adding those extra plates on top, extra um, sticks? That is to increase airflow. Because, and we also have to remove the entrance as well. So the entrance is open all the way across the entire hive because if the entrance is not open, then uh, it can cause potential death of brood and the queen as well, which we're trying to avoid. Papa, let me go with the shoe. Okay, then I'll go with the shoe. Then I'll go with the shoe. Then I'll go with the shoe. Then I'll go It is not unusual if you will see uh, a lot of them congregating right on top, right after this, but it is important that the airflow is open for the bees after um, the treatment is placed in the hive. We're opening all of the front entrances all the way. So there's plenty of airflow for these bees on the top and on the bottom. And if um, someone who has like a solid bottom, then it's important to add little wedges right here in the corner to lift up the hive, just to give a little bit extra airflow for them because we don't want any damage because these, you know, Formic Pro strips, they're pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty strong. They can make your eyes water. Goodness gracious, what are you kids doing? <laughs> talking about reacting to the medication they all came outside this is not unusual this is expected we're gonna keep an eye on this hive the rest are doing well reacting just fine so there are two options for treatment of forming pro one is using two strips on the bottom brood and it to be kept for two weeks and the other one is 10 days at a time. So you put one strip down for 10 days, remove it and add the second strip for another 10 days, total of 20 days. But we choose to use two strips for 14 days. Someone once asked me, why do we do lending strips for our bees? And I wanna explain is that sometimes when bees are returning home from doing their pollination and they bring in sacks full of pollen that the sacks are so heavy and they fly so far away they're so tired that sometimes they need to land on that little strip that on that landing board and barely walk up to bring it inside the hive and that is the reason why we do it then somebody asked me why do we put that insulation foam on top that is to protect them from beating sun we have pretty strong sun here in New England where we are and we want to protect them as much as we can. That will take the brunt of any kind of heat on top of the metal outer cover and keep our bees a little cooler for their own comfort. I love to watch Papa work with his bees. He absolutely loves them. He's so gentle with them. It's like they're his babies, his pets.